bit of a bit of a wild one. Um, you know, I like the way we competed after coming in from last night, and especially having a battle the way we did in the first period, just the, the, the give and take, give and take, and then finally got a lead and then pushed the lead again. Um, you know, I really liked the third period and the way we played it. And um, you're thinking 6-3 was over, and it wasn't over. And uh, we could have been, we could have been a little bit better there at the end, but um, at the end of the day, Guys fought really hard, I think, today under the circumstances and got ourselves a win. When you win as many games as you guys have already, it's obviously going to be, you can't be perfect or sometimes even close to it every night. Are you, you address the things that you want to address, but do you feel like overall there's still a lot more positives in these last couple than anything you I might thought have? last night was a, a bit of a tougher game, um, just being on the road and traveling to Nashville. Coming home here, like I, you know, that if that game ends six three, there's probably none of these questions, you know. But it it doesn't. It ends six five. I actually think the third period was our best. Like it was a really quiet period offensively. I thought we were good. We did some good things. There wasn't a lot of noise defensively. And then they scored that goal, and they you know made it six four, and then it resets, and they score another one right away within a minute. And so that that kind of that sets you back, and it gives you a different flavor in your mouth and the third period and the way it was played. And so I thought we'd reset after that and just finish it out. You scored a number of goals from around the net, um, a couple today, you know, VC's one or the other night. Yeah, bread too, yeah. Is, is, um, is that a, a continuing focus of yours that you talk about? Or do you we do. We talk about it all the time. I mean, those, those two areas in front of the net, uh, both defensively and offensively, that's the, that's the prime real estate. But it, you know, oftentimes it comes with the price of getting there and paying that price to find those areas. And I do think that offensively, from the start of the year, I think we've started to fire on more cylinders. And so that's been, that's been good. The more you get into that area, the more you deliver pucks into that area. Um, you know, even the goal last night, Mindy's goal last night, just got people in there. You just put people in there and push your pucks in there and anything can happen. So, you know, Bread's a goal. Bread's example is another one tonight. So there's been a lot of goals that are inside that, that area. And I think that's a good thing. And when you have a player like Panarin doing that, does that, does that tell you that the message has been received by basically everybody? Yeah, I'm not. Well, I mean, we, you know, from the beginning of the year, when I was, I was sitting there saying, <laughs> we, got, we need more five on five, we need more offense, we need to push more. I do think it's been better. And maybe that's just, I don't know, had to be, I don't know, practiced or assumed as part of our identity that we're going to go to the hard areas with more pucks and people there. And so, um, but like anything, it wasn't working then. There's more now. Uh, like anything, something will go south and we'll have to address it at some point. But right now we are, I believe that we are getting people in there and pushing things in there. What have you, uh, what have you learned about Panarin that maybe you didn't know coaching against him? Uh, he, I mean, he's always been a really good player, you know, really I think elite player, but <clears throat> I think you appreciate him more when you watch him day in and day out, and you you watch the plays that he makes and the things that he does. I think you appreciate him more. Johnny Bryson, he just said this is the first time in his career that a coach has put him in the position to succeed and shown trust in him right away. Can you just talk about what you've seen from him so far? Um, you know, he's he had a really good training camp. We're just talking about you know pushing things offensively from training camp. He was the one guy who did. He had. He was generating lots of scoring chances, attempts, pucks at the net. He was doing lots of good things. And he does it through his speed and his offensive instincts and skills. Um, you know, it's just, uh, again, I, I, I had mentioned this the other day. I think trying to put people in positions where they can be successful, to, that would be a spot for him to come up and show what he could do on the power play. Um, inside of a, you know, that type of a situation, that type of a line. And, um, and then it's up to him. It's up to people to make the most of the opportunities. And uh, Cooley's goal. Uh, yeah, big goal. Cool. Uh, big goal. Cool. You know, just what have you. Well, heck of a play by Benino first to delay it and let Cools kind of wiggle in between them and split them. And then a really nice pass. But that's still, that's still coming full speed and having to pull that you know, off your backhand, get it to your forehand, and man, he put it exactly where it needed to go. And so, you know, young player, and he's, he, 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 gives, he gives everything he's got every night. I mean, he's physical, he's, 
Um, uh, I think he's I think he's off to a good start. You know, he's he's learning, but he's off to a good start. And tonight he had a big moment. And he hadn't scored in. Ten games, I think. So, I mean, had you seen the, the efforts um, being consistent? Well, I think his efforts consistent. I think he is, is a young kid that cares and plays hard. He's fast. He's physical. He hits. He goes to the front of the net. Really coachable kid. And so, it was nice to see him score a big goal like that. Kind of back to what you were saying before about trust and responsibility. Yesterday, you had Alexi Lafreniere out six on five against playing defense. Tonight, he breaks out the puck by himself and sets up that Miller goal. You know, on the rush. Can you talk about his skating ability and his defensive responsibility as a way? Um, I, I I think that you know, is from an offensive standpoint, he's he's clicked on all cylinders, and um, that line has been really good, and obviously chemistry with the three of them, and they've been a um, a line that's been producing now consistently all year, and I do like the fact that. Both, you know, that, that line, the Trocheck line, Troch is more of a penalty killer and found in those responsibilities more. I like the fact that his two wingers are playing a detailed game to trying to make sure they're doing the correct things defensively as well. And you get people that push the game offensively and are winning games for you. They want that opportunity to finish a game when you're up. And so, you know, there's a, there's a trust that goes there. And so, but right now they're, they're on top of their game. They're driving our team. And, you know, you got to give them a chance to finish the game as well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.